So I've had this switch for about a week and uh, figured I'd see my, see what I think here. Uh, yeah, so uh, I've had it for a week and uh, really like it. Uh, it is kind of boring. The OS is a little on the boring side, but uh, outside of that, playing video games on it actually works very well. <laughs> um, a lot of a lot of content that I enjoy. Uh, a lot of stuff coming out for it that uh, I'm interested in, such as yes, I'm interested in Skyrim. Um, also, what else is coming? There's actually there's some games that I don't even remember the name of that I saw on Alpha Mega since. He was talking about it and looked interesting. And apparently, it's a sequel to some other games that are very violent that I think look really cool. It has something to do with video games inside of video games or whatever the hell it's called. And it looked cool. And I figured, you know, I could pick that up when it comes out. Also, I think the Resident Evil Revelations 1 and 2 are coming out or whatever. As well as what? Oh, uh, Rocket League is coming out. Um, a few other games. There's a lot of other games that are coming out that I'm interested in. Some indie titles. Uh, there's one that I can't remember the name of. It's like a, um, almost looks like Castle Crashers kind of thing, but it's a uh, side scrolling hack and slash thingy. Uh, stuff like that. And um, yeah, so there's also a lot of Neo Geo games that I like. So. Picked up a few of those, got a lot of them on my wish list. Uh, the games I have right now, right here, the physical releases are Zelda Breath of the Wild, surprise, um, and Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, surprise. Um, so, um, so I have had no like physical problems with the Switch as far as some kind of defect goes. Um, I'm kind of jumping ahead of myself because I was talking about games and now I got into de defects, but I just wanted to point out no physical defects. Problems, yes. Physical defects, no. Um, but we'll get back to the games here. Uh, I have Fast RMX. Um, this is a physical thing, Mario Kart 8. So then I have uh, Metal Slug 3, uh, Samurai Showdown. This game I haven't got really into yet, but it did seem fun. World, uh, like try to something world perfect. Uh, the, the, the heroes perfect. It's a Neo Geo. I figured I'd give that a shot. Then I got Sonic Mania, which is really fun. And this is Arrow Fighter Two, and a couple of demos and things. So I get to play a few things, and it's a lot to keep me busy for a while. And then, like I said, there's a few things coming out that I'm interested in. Um, wish I could actually remember everything off the top of my head. But I can't. <laughs> um, but there's also uh, uh, Metroid Prime 4 is coming out. I don't know that soon, but there's not even gameplay for it. But there's only a trailer with, uh, it says, Metroid Prime 4. Um, so, yeah. And hopefully the virtual console will, will come out soon. That would be nice. Hopefully they can beef up uh, the operating system a little, make it a little more fun to deal with, put some music in the menus, something, get a web browser and a YouTube app is what I really want because that would really help if you're stuck in a game and stuff. I always tend to use that when I'm having issues. And, uh, you know, because, you know, I know you can use your phone, but if I already have this here, it would be much more convenient to just launch it on here. It's a tablet, it, like... I would have and then I don't have to go get a phone or a tablet off so uh, from my table or wherever uh, the joy cons I'm not too big on them I mean obviously for portable mode I have to use I kind of have to use them um, unless I want to put it in that kickstand mode which I don't really care for because then everything's really small and I like to be able to hold on to the the tablet and the problem with the Joy-Cons for me is that it seems like I have lots of pain in my right ha hand when I use them. Same thing happens with the 3DS. I have a 3DS and I tend to get cramps and pains and my, my thumbs actually start to fall asleep and my index finger. So I even goes the pain even kind of goes up my arm. 
a little, it's not excruciating pain, but it's enough to be annoying. And that's why I have the Pro Controller here, which actually, yeah, it is a really good controller. Um, the rumble that they talked so highly of, I, I'm, not, I'm not feeling it so much. That HD rumble, I, I can't really tell you that it's a... Um, it's that amazing. It's the best Nintendo rumble I've ever used, but it doesn't really, I don't know. I think the, even the Xbox 360 and PS3 controllers had better rumble um, than this. Um, at least it has a real D-pad that helps with fighting games, um, but it's more comfortable to use for me. And on the way, hopefully Thursday, well, that's what they say, Thursday, I have a controller converter uh, coming so I can have like a cheap but good second controller and use other peripherals I have around my house, such as my fighting stick and my wheels, whatever, so I don't have to go buying brand new stuff all the time. But I figured it'd also be good for a second controller because I have controllers around the house that I can give to a second player that they would be perfectly happy with over those crappy third-party controllers that they're releasing for the Switch. Um, and yeah, that controller is way too much money. <laughs> I mean, yeah. It is a good controller. It it's feels sturdy. It doesn't feel... Uh, I have the Wii U Pro Controller, and I don't like it. I really don't like the Wii U Pro Controller. Um, I don't like the button placement. It's in the same place as the analog sticks on the PS4 or the dual shock controllers or whatever you want to call it. Um, and it's kind of swapped the, the dual shock analog sticks are swapped with the buttons, kind of whatever the fuck. But it's very awkward and I don't like it. And yeah. So I never used the pro controller on the Wii U. I always used the gamepad. I was perfectly fine because I don't know, the gamepad just was the right size for me. It was fine. I never had a problem with it. I think I bought the Pro Controller for a second player, like I did with the, the converter. But I really never used the uh, Pro Controller. <laughs> um, I was fine with the gamepad. But in this case, I'm definitely using the, the Pro Controller because I cannot use these in that stupid little grip or, you know, by itself. I tried it by itself. At first, I thought it was like, you know, with a split without the thing without the uh shit thing what do you call it the grip without the grip and at first i thought it was really cool but then my hand started cramping up so i was like i need the pro controller and so i went and got the pro controller and now the switch turned off yay so yeah that that i found to be very hard to use the, the these um, there are some games I really want, but I think they're, they cost too much, like Ultra Street Fighter 2, whatever, um, 40 bucks? I mean, I guess it's not as bad as the, uh, the, the SNES, uh, cartridge they're gonna release soon, uh, for a hundred dollars, but still, 40 dollars, 40 dollars is still too much. Yeah, I'll wait until I can get that either used or something, but I'm not paying 40 bucks for that. I think I bought Ultra Street Fighter, the Ultra Street Fighter 2 remake or whatever it was, HD thing, on the Xbox Live Arcade years back, and it was uh, a lot less money then. And I guess this has more features and all that, but I don't care. I'm not spending 40 bucks on that. And then spend 40 bucks on Street Ultra, you know, whatever, Street Fighter fucking whatever. Ultra, Ultra Street Fighter plus Turbo, whatever, four. So, I'm not spending 40 bucks on that. Um, and I've bought that game enough times. <laughs> so, screw that. Uh, wait till the price drop or used, used games stuff. Yeah. So... Uh, I think my camera is uh, going to cut out soon, so I'm not going to say anything too crazy. And I may just actually stop it and restart it uh, right now. Okay, so 
good thing. I caught the freaking uh, the camera. Um, so yeah, other than that, let's see. So the dock is not bent. I actually put a tape measure on top and bottom to make sure that the um, spacing was the same. So a lot of people, you're like, oh, well, you drop a penny in it. If it rubs, then it's not straight. And I don't see that that's accurate because I put a penny in it, it rubs all the way down. But when I measured everything, I put all these, you know, I put a tape measure on, I put a fucking, um, I was able to put a um, level on it and all this other stuff. And I've deemed that the dock is perfectly straight, it's fine. Um, but when you put a penny in, it does rub. But I don't care, whatever. It's fine. It's okay. It's all the way around. It is the same measurement. If it was bigger on the t on the bottom than the top, that would probably mean it's bending, but it, it's not. So that's that. Um, I also padded the dock as well, just to be on the safe side, because Nintendo doesn't want to. Yes, Nintendo does not want to do a simple little thing to fix a possible defect. Oh, uh, God. Um... You know, if I was Nintendo, I would kind of look at, like, not to say that the thing is exploding, but I would kind of look at the deal with the uh, the Galaxy S, uh, the, Galaxy, uh, the Galaxy Note 7 and be like, hmm, maybe we don't want something like that to happen. Again, not exploding, but, you know, having, you know, defective units and things like that cause heavy financial damage, you know, you may want to, I don't know, you may want to just put some padding on the dock. But, because Nintendo won't do it, I guess we have to. It has to be a DIY project when it shouldn't be. But, I did that. So, this way, I don't have scratches on my screen. Um, so, I mean, even if the dock was bent, if, you, if they put some padding on it, it wouldn't really matter. So... It wouldn't matter because there would be proper padding on it and it wouldn't scratch your screen. So nobody would give a shit. Unless you have major, major OCD. Um, and that would maybe bother you if you're insane. But, whatever. Who cares? This is a great system. I will say that I haven't really been excited to get a system since uh, probably the Dreamcast. Uh, and that was probably the last system I played for a while. I kind of got burnt out on video games after the Dreamcast. And then uh, I didn't get back into it until around the nearing the end of the 360 when I just kind of was catching up on the older systems that had come out that I missed. Um, and then blah, 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 blah. But since then, I have not really been that excited for a new console release um i guess that's only one release though so that's not much because the xbox 360 was out i kind of was excited to get that and i liked it and then i got a ps3 as well and then the ps4 came out and the, and the xbox one and i wasn't too interested and i bought a ps4 and i wasn't feeling it and i didn't really play it much and kind of sold it and then this came out and I was like dying to get it. Then I finally got it and I'm really happy to have it and I've been playing the shit out of it. So, yeah, whatever. Really like the idea of a high-end experience on the go, like console, like newer console style game on the go type thing. Not just like the Sega Nomad or something. I had the Sega Nomad as a kid and I hated it because it was just too damn big. Wasn't fitting well in my pocket. <laughs> Sold that because, yeah. Although my friends liked it. I showed it to them and they were like, oh, awesome, Sega Genesis games in their pocket. I was like, yeah, the console dies in like a, not even a half an hour. It's great. Let me go buy some more batteries. <laughs> um, but anyways, so yeah. This, as far as the battery life goes on this, um, I enjoy it. Uh, I, I don't expect it to last forever when you're playing Breath of the Wild. Um, it lasts, like I have a shield tablet and that thing dies in five seconds if you try to play like Borderlands 2. 
and Talus Principle or whatever. That thing dies really fast, way faster than the Switch. So I expect it to not last friggin' five hours or whatever. So, yeah. Um, if I need to, probably get a power bank. But, yeah, whatever. So, and I mean, if you play the other games, like some of the lesser demanding, less demanding games, like the Neo Geo games and stuff, it's fine. So... There's stuff that's not as demanding that you can play. Um, but when you're playing these huge open world games and all this other stuff, these graphically demanding games, it's going to die. <laughs> it's going to die, and three hours is quite amazing for running off of power on a battery, whatever. Yeah. Uh, my, my usage of this has mostly been on the television. Um, I didn't think it would be. I thought it was mostly going to be portable, portable mode or whatever. Um, however, I did actually play it a lot on the TV. And, yeah, it looks great. It looks quite good. I mean, especially Mario Kart is a huge improvement just from the resolution. Um, yeah, so the resolution on Mario Kart makes a big difference for me. Uh, you may not notice it uh, if you don't notice jagged edges and stuff, but... The bump to 1080p really makes a big difference for me. Um, it still looks like a little tiny bit of jaggies, but nothing really that's going to bother me. Um, and you have to stare for that. So, yeah. Then there's um, Fast Racing RMX. I don't know that I'd noticed that much of a difference from the Wii U version as far as the resolution goes. I know it's like a dynamic resolution and it does seem to scale a lot and it doesn't always seem to quite hit 1080p much but I don't know I haven't seen the the Wii U version in a while but it does look a little jagged on the switch uh, there's also that uh, there's a few options in the graphics that you can turn on and off a lot of people apparently like to turn off this uh, uh, chromatic arboration or whatever but I thought it looked crappy that way I thought it was too jagged and then I turned it back on it's almost like an it almost works like anti-aliasing but I think it's a photo editing uh, filter type thing or whatever mostly so it's something that that people that are uh, photographers are probably more more uh, knowledgeable about um, and it apparently doesn't even work in that kind of way in, in photography but whatever I don't know so yeah so um, so far hmm I think that's about all I did see uh, a video of somebody disassembling the dock and basically just push putting the entire guts of the dock into something about that big it's like you know just like that size it's a dock, but he, he just took the guts out and he put it in that. Uh, you know, the dock has a lot of waste of space going on in there. There's, it's way too big. It doesn't need to be that big. Um, so, yeah, Nintendo kind of, like, wasted a bunch of plastic, I guess. I don't know. They just had nothing better to do than just, like, pile on the plastic. Um, but, yeah, there is a mod you can do to make the dock smaller, like, significantly smaller. <laughs> probably about the size of a small ashtray um so yeah and then you won't scratch your screen <laughs> so there you go so that's that and it's a lot cheaper than the docks the third party docks that are apparently coming out to do that but it is a diy project and stuff so that's about it um i may do a couple gameplays i don't know that it's that necessary to do do gameplays because there's so many of them but i think i just want to so you know thank you for watching see you later